So, you clicked on this video because it's that time of the year again. High school students all around the Philippines apply sa isa favorite universities. <laughs> favorite? Sa favorite university ng lahat, the University of the Philippines. And maybe you're considering computer science as one of your options as a degree program. Now, before you proceed, have you asked yourself why? Probably you know someone who's studying in UP and wala na silang tulog, parang ayun, lagi silang buhayat. If your answer is still yes and you're considering computer science, then this video is for you. In this video, we're going to talk about some things you should know before applying for computer science dito sa UP Los Banos. Hi, I'm David and I'm currently a third year student dito sa UP Los Banos and I'm currently taking a BS Computer Science and I'm also a member of the Young Software Engineer Society. Uh, we're an academic organization based in UPLD and we're comprised of mostly computer science students. When I applied kasi for computer science sa uh, UPLD, it was because I really love technology and I'm a big fan of a specific company's products. I think it's kind of obvious. <laughs> if you know me, you would know. And I've always liked their products and the software that comes with it. When I was growing up, I thought to myself that someday I was going to make something like that. That was one of my motivations for pursuing a degree in computer science. Actually, that was just it. I wasn't really aware of the other things that I was going to encounter as a computer science student. Which leads me to the first thing that you should know before taking computer science is the amount of math na you're going to encounter. So with some degree programs, it's kind of obvious what you're going into. For example, in biology, diba? Parang you know na it's going to be about studying life. Chemistry, you know it's going to be about chemicals more or less. I I'm sorry. It this is an oversimplification. <laughs> With computer science, parang, uh, it's a given that you're going to study computers. But the science part is kind of vague. Parang, what, what exactly is the science going to be about? When I got into the university, I was really shocked with the amount of math na I was going to study. So on your first year kasi, you're going to take uh, discrete math courses and math courses. So in discrete math courses, ito yung Comsai 56 and 57. So in 56, this deals with logic problems. Ito yung may mga cute table, yung may mga and or if then statements. And what you're going to do is to simplify or find yung equivalent uh, statement ito. You're also going to take ComSci 57, which is uh, discrete math 2. And this one deals with uh, combinatorics, discrete probability, and graph theory. For math 27, ito naman yung analytical geometry and calculus 2. No washer and disk na I would prefer not to remember. <laughs> and Math 28 as well, which is a continuation of Math 27. And ito naman, ito yung mga vectors, yung parametric equations, yung multiple integrals, partial differentiation, all that good stuff nandun yun sa Math 28. And even as you progress, uh, into higher ComSci, there will still be math. On your second year, you're going to take STAT and study about numerical methods. And even on your third year, you're still going to find math sa computer science courses na you're going to take. Lalo na sa paggawa ng artificial intelligence, uh, there's so much math behind those things na I was also surprised. Uh, and ko rin alam na ganun pala how that stuff is built. If you go into computer science not knowing this, Maybe kasi you're going to have a hard time, especially talaga if hindi ka mahilig sa math. Then again, it's still up to you, even if hindi ka nga magaling. Pero honestly, I don't really believe anymore na there are people na hindi magaling sa math. It's just a matter of practicing and how willing you are to do these things. When I was in high school, admittedly hindi rin talaga ako ganun kagaling. Pero when I went to college, uh, it was true my friends who helped me study and syempre through my own determination to pass and I got rid of this mentality na hindi ako magaling sa math I was just thinking that I needed to practice more and yeah, I had good results because of that. The second thing that you should know before taking computer science sa UPLD is the workload. When you take computer science subjects, sila? 3 units each. What does that mean, diba? 
the three units na yun, it's divided into lab and lecture parts. So yung lecture, uh, this deals with yung theory or yung concepts behind the stuff that you're going to apply doon naman sa lab na component. Yung lab, ito ay 3 hours each week and yung lecture naman ay 2 hours each week. So combining these together, you're gonna spend at least 5 hours sa isang komsay subject per week. Now sa lab, uh, every week, Meron kang deliverable or something na you have to submit. And ang tawag namin dito usually ay Xers. For subjects na programming, you're gonna have to submit a programming exercise each week. Every week, there is something you must submit. If you have discrete math courses, naman, yung exercise naman dito are more on problem sets. So imagine, when you're a freshie, dalawa pa lang yung Komsai courses na you're going to take. So that means around 10 hours of Komsai each week and 2 deliverables lagi each week. On your second year, you're going to have 4 Komsai courses. So that means around 20 hours each week on Komsai and 4 deliverables lagi each week. On your third year naman, you're going to have 5 Comsci courses sa isang semester. 25 na hours each week, more or less, studying about computer science. And for each of these Comsci courses, you're going to have a deliverable each week. Lahat naman kasi talaga ng degree program, very time consuming. It's just up to you what kind of workload you are willing to work for. So it might be a bit overwhelming. Pero ayun nga, that's why I'm telling you this. Kasi if you don't have the proper time management skills as early as your first year, then you are going to suffer talaga on your succeeding years sa uh, computer science. Then again, since online classes ngayon, iba talaga yung situation and may iba talaga na yung learning nila is hampered by things such as the internet connection or yung iba kasi hindi rin talaga kaya na online lang. So that is also one thing you should consider. And then lastly, for the last thing na you should know before taking computer science sa UPLB is failing. When you enter UP, you're going to be surrounded by all of these people, high school valedictorians, Galing sa mga science high schools. May mga may meet ka din na anak ng kung sino sino presidente or ng kumpanya, yung mga ganun. Meron ding times na you studied for an exam for how many days. Still, when you take the exam, parang it's still not good enough. Home sa lalo, that feeling kapag sa lab and ikaw na yung huling tao na nagsusolve, yung the rest are already done. Sobrang dreadful ng feeling. Kasi you would think na Bakit ako nandito? Parang ganun. You're going to start and question your place in the university. Deserve ko ba talaga na nandito ako knowing na these people are so far ahead of me? Uh, when you start to feel these things and you feel na you've hit rock bottom, uh, you have a choice. It's either you're going to allow yourself to stay there or use this as a jumping point. Kasi diba, when you're at rock bottom, uh, they say na there's nowhere to go but up. And it's true. It's not really about getting a grade na uno agad or makapag university scholar agad. It just means that every day, you should be trying your best to become better. And I was able to do that kasi it was through the help of my friends and my org mates, my mentors in the org that allowed me to find my potential. I'm saying this to you because when you fail, I hope you remember that you won't be alone and you're going to be surrounded by all of these people that are very willing to help you. And even yung mga tao na you feel are so much smarter than you, these people will learn something from you as well. Hindi mo lang alam na ganun. I guess one reason then why we're making these videos is to pay back para for you uh, considering computer science as one of your degree programs, don't make the same mistakes that I have made in my stay as a computer science student. And in the future, hopefully, when I see you around campus and you would say na, Oi, you know, your video mo on computer science and it has helped me a lot, I would feel nice. Because I would think na 
it's nice that I've actually helped someone. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope now you have more of an idea about what to expect when you enter computer science Cito sa UPLB. If you like this video, then I hope you consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or liking our page on Facebook. And the links will be put in the description. This is our first video and we're so excited for you to get to know Wises more in the future. So most likely in the future, hindi lang puro ako yung makikita nyo, you would see more of my other org mates. They're all wonderful people. And I hope we see you around sa campus very soon. I hope we get vaccinated. <laughs> I hope you look forward to it and we'll see you on the next video. Bye!